According to the West Virginia Department of Education, balanced scorecard schools in the Mountain State did not meet the attendance standard in the 2022-23 school year. Truancy has become a problem and is becoming a more of a problem in recent years, and there is one thing officials can easily point out as to why. News 9's Gianna Dupre has the details. More than one fourth of students in West Virginia were chronically absent, meaning they missed more than 10% of the school year. And area schools fell right in line with those numbers. In the northern panhandle, many schools sat around the 90% mark in school attendance rate, the lowest being Brook at 88%, Marshall and Wetzel at 90%, and Ohio with the highest percent at 92%. A common theme was found among each district and why students aren't attending. We really kind of are still battling what COVID created. The pandemic really took a hit on a lot of kids' mental health. Coming out of the COVID pandemic really set us back. The pandemic slowed students socially, educationally, and in their home lives. A Brook County Schools attendance director Mike Berner says typical reasons for these actions come from the home or are mental health related. Recently, I, I've received two chronic absent forms from doctor's office saying the kid needs to miss up to 10 days per month, per month. I mean, that's 50%. If you think of a, of four, day, or four weeks of school in a month, 20 days of school, they're saying it's okay for them to miss half the instruction. Um, so what, I mean, where do we go with that? At Wetzel County Schools, Todd Barkas, director of student services, said many of the reasons were from their upbringing. One of the hardest ones to overcome probably is generational, when you see a generational problem. For courts to be involved, students must have 10 unexcused days. On the third unexcused day, a letter is sent to the home. The fifth, a meeting is scheduled with the parents. And the 10th day, parents are sent to court. The goal is to get through to students and families before they reach the court system. Regardless of the reason that they miss school, whether it's excused or unexcused, they're still missing the instruction for that day. It doesn't take long for that gap to build and build and build, and then eventually it becomes overwhelming to the child to try and catch up, and then when they catch up, they got to keep up. These kids need to be learning. They need to be forming those peer relationships with one another. To improve student attendance and support their needs, schools are intensifying the Communities in Schools program. Championed by First Lady Kathy Justice, it provides essentials, counseling, and support through school social workers. While Wetzel County recently adopted it, Brooke, Marshall, and Ohio County schools expanded their existing programs, focusing on early intervention before excessive absences. Additionally, all schools have probation officers to assist chronically absent students. And Marshall County went further with introducing a truancy diversion officer. This year, working with 14 students, significant improvements in attendance have already been observed. And so what are ways that you are trying to help these students, you know, come back and get excused absences or, you know, just yeah, stay in I'm school? Letting them know if they're not going to be here and they're sick, let their parents know so their parents can call them off to be unexcused. And also that they, they need to be here in school to get their education. And Marshall County Schools juiced up another program called attendance teams. The attendance teams are working as far as calling and letting parents know that they need to call their, their students off. That's an excused absence. They need to send in doctor's notes. Um, so those, those types of numbers have went down greatly. So far this year, Marshall County has seen nearly a 70% decrease in court attendance letters sent home. Other schools have also seen great improvements from last year. Brook County Schools with a 3 to 4% increase in overall attendance and Wetzel with a 1% increase. This is a safe place. This is a way out. Um, and so everything that we can do to build those relationships, we focus on that. As truancy issues continue and schools put more effort on trying to keep students in school, News 9 will keep you updated. Reporting in the Wheeling Content Center, I'm Gianna Dupre, News 9. I'm Gianna Dupre. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch and please take some time to subscribe to our channel.